very good evening. You're watching the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sophia Palace the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, who briefed His Majesty on the developments of the National Oil and Gas Authority's projects, which stem from the directives of His Majesty to increase the resources of national income. The projects include a new ATB pipeline linking Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, liquefied petroleum gas harbour, the expansion of Banagas, Bapco refinery expansion and projects developing Bahrain oil and gas field, as well as the projects supervised by the National Oil and Gas Authority, NOGA. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts of the oil minister and all employees of the oil and gas sector, hailing the plans, programs and investment projects that aim to enhance the role of this vital sector, which represents one of the main pillars of the national economy. He affirmed that the Kingdom continues to implement developmental projects in all sectors to achieve the aspirations of citizens. His Majesty hailed Bahrain's long-standing achievements in all fields, wishing the Minister su success in his efforts to develop the oil and gas industry. For his part, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his wise directives and unlimited support to the oil and gas sector. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Law 28 of 2017, amending some provisions of Decree Law 19 of 1976 concerning medals. The first article creates a new medal, called the Medal of Power, to be added to the state's approved medals stipulated in Law 1 of Decree Law 19 of 1976. The second article stipulates that the medal consists of a single grade and is granted to the officers and members of the Bahrain Defence Force on the occasion of the BDF's 50th anniversary. His Majesty also approved and issued Laws 29 and 30 of 2017, which respectively approved Bahrain's joining of the Convention on Compensation for Damage Caused by Aircraft to Third Parties and the Convention for Damage to Third Parties Resulting from Acts of Unlawful Interference Involving Aircraft, both adopted at the International Conference on Air Law in Montreal on May 2, 2009. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Gudabiya Palace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister briefed the Cabinet on the letter His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received from Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sabah, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, regarding Gulf, Arab and international developments and other issues of common concern. His Royal Highness also briefed the Cabinet on the letter His Majesty the King received from President of the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, Abdelaziz Bouteflika, on bilateral relations and ways to bolster them in various fields, as well as challenges and developments in the Arab region. On the occasion of Youth Day, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the role of Bahraini youths in the National Action March and their contributions to developing society. He also affirmed the government's keenness to develop the environment and empowerment of the youth and provide opportunities for them to invest their energies into long-term accomplishments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister ordered the preparation of an in-depth analytical study on chronic diseases such as cancer and kidney diseases, including their symptoms, causes and recommendations for their prevention. His Royal Highness appointed the Ministry of Health to coordinate with the Supreme Health Council and specialised research centres on this study, whilst the Minister of Health gave a presentation on these diseases and the current actions taken by the Ministry. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the importance of following up on citizens' needs for government services and meeting their requirements. He directed Ministers to continue conducting site visits to various areas. The Cabinet expressed its deepest condolences to the United Arab Emirates, over the deaths of four soldiers of their armed forces after the crash of their helicopter following technical failures whilst performing their duties in the province of Shabwa in Yemen, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the late servicemen in eternal peace and to grant their families fortitude. The cabinet also expressed its deepest condolences to the Arab Republic of Egypt and the victims of a tragic accident caused by the collision of two trains in Alexandria, which resulted in the deaths and injuries of dozens praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the victims in eternal peace and wishing a speedy recovery to the injured. The Cabinet reviewed the regulatory requirements for allowing building additions to housing units of all housing projects, which allow the beneficiary to expand the unit according to allowed conditions, whilst maintaining the original architectural form and colour of the residential unit, and approved a draft law resolution in this regard, recommended by the Ministerial Committee for Urbanisation and Infrastructure. The Cabinet appointed the Ministerial Committee for Urbanisation and Infrastructure to meet the citizens' needs of Citra, Nabisala, Diraz and Amal Hassan for governmental services provided by the Ministry of Work and Social Development.
the Cabinet approved to host a regional workshop in Bahrain on educational development policies to be organised in cooperation and coordination between the Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organisation and the Arab League Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organisation. The Cabinet approved a draft law by the Shura Council that amends the election of Municipal Council's members. According to the draft law, the punishment for electoral crimes that affect the integrity of the electoral process of Municipal Councils referred to in Article 30 shall be increased by a, minimum, by a maximum of two years imprisonment and a fine not exceeding 2,000 dinars instead of imprisonment for a period not exceeding three months and a fine not exceeding 200 dinars. The Cabinet approved a draft law by the Representatives' Council that amends the Cooperative Societies Law. The amendment authorises the use of mail and electronic means of communication in inviting members to attend the General Assembly meeting instead of invitation letters, as is currently the case. The Cabinet approved two proposals concerning the activation of Article 11 of the Civil Service Law and the system of traffic lights. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the West Asian Athletics Federation and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abicha bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, as well as the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the national athletics team winning first place on the Arab level, second place on the Asian level, and 12th place on the global level in the IAAF World Athletics Championships, which took place recently in the British capital of London. His Highness Sheikh Khaled affirmed that the achievement represents a continuation of the series of achievements that Bahraini Athletics team makes in various world events, as a result of the support the runners receive from the wise leadership and His Highness Sheikh Nasser, noting that the achievements reflect the merit of Bahraini Athletics. His Highness Sheikh Khaled stated that Bahraini Athletics culminated in Bahrain's participation by gaining two unprecedented medals in the ladies' marathon and the ladies' 400-meter race. His Highness hailed the outstanding performance, high sportsmanship and perseverance of the two runners, commending the performance of all the runners and the efforts of the technical and administrative bodies. He added that the new achievement will compel the Board of Directors to give further support to the runners, expressing pride in continuing to make exceptional achievements. The President of Iraq, Faoud Massoum, received Bahrain's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, yesterday, who is currently visiting Iraq on an official visit. The Foreign Affairs Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa to the Iraqi President. President Massoum urged the Minister to convey his greetings to the leadership, expressing pride in the existing brotherly bilateral relations and affirming the importance of even further bolstering them. The Minister highlighted the Kingdom's keenness to enhance joint cooperation and coordination with Iraq in various fields, stressing Bahrain's support of all ma that maintains Iraq's stability and prosperity. Iraq's Prime Minister, Dr. Haid al-Abadi, also received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed al-Khalifa. Sheikh Khaled conveyed to Dr. al-Abadi the greetings of the leadership and their wishes of further progress and success. He praised the fraternal relations between Bahrain and Iraq, as well as the keenness to increase cooperation and coordination in all fields for the benefit of the two countries' peoples. Mr. Alabadi expressed pride in historic bilateral relations, affirming that the stability of Bahrain and brotherly Arab countries is that of Iraq. He noted the importance of joint Arab action to face all challenges and expressed appreciation for the visit of the Foreign Affairs Minister, wishing the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. Sheikh Khaled praised the continuous efforts of the Iraqi government to combat terrorism, which successfully resulted in the liberation of Mosul from the terrorist ISIL group. He, re he reiterated Bahrain's support of the, measures to take, of the measures taken by Iraq to combat terrorism and maintain security and stability throughout the country. Also during his visit, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with his Iraqi counterpart, Dr. Ibrahim Al Jafri. Sheikh Khaled praised the course of Bahraini Iraqi cooperation and reviewed the means of enhancing it in various fields for the benefit of the two countries' peoples. 
Iraq's foreign minister underscored the fraternal bilateral relations, hailing the kingdom's support to stances towards Iraq in its fight against terrorism. He wished the kingdom further progress and success. During the meeting, the two parties agreed to coordinate stances in all events and to enhance relations through the two countries' joint committee, as well as to discuss the latest regional developments. The Bahrain Arabic television channel will run a special interview with the Minister of Information Affairs, Minister Ali Aramehi, today at 9 p.m., in which he will speak about how the Qatari media policy is following a systemic strategy that seeks to destabilize the region and its safety. The minister will also outline how the Gulf Cooperation Council has been trying for years to correct Qatar's negative regional policies, but was only faced by obstensity and defective media discourse. The Bahraini Defence Forces General Command has announced that the Royal Bahraini Naval Force will implement live ammunition firing exercises in the Heresh Eshtaya area, which started on Monday the 14th, and will continue until Wednesday the 16th of this month. They will run from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. The BDF urges all citizens and residents to avoid the mentioned area for their own safety. Very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Hamid Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,319.10 points, marking a decrease of 3.67 points below last closing. The decrease was in the investment and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector with 56% of total shares. 66 transactions included 3,128,274 shares, or 769,446 Bahraini dinars.